Right, y'all. Welcome back to Comet Arms channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a country that we haven't checked out previously on the channel. Now, I have talked about this country a decent amount. That's just because I spent some time over there. So we are talking about Romania. Today, we're checking out the Romanian Special Forces. Now, I haven't worked with the Special Forces specifically, but I worked with a few different units inside the Romanian military. We did a few different exercises. We even did like squad movements, like sort of adjacent to each other, like moving online, which is kind of cool because they had like their RPGs and their AKs going while we had like our m32s and our m4s so it was pretty cool dynamic and while we were in romania we also did some joint training with like bulgaria serbia slovenia the brits moldova so we had a bunch of different countries come in so i was sort of able to compare the romanian military with all these other militaries and not gonna lie for like an eastern european country they were they did things pretty like westernized like it was very similar to our doctrine and our tactics and it was kind of cool to see i mean i think we worked very very well together so i'm excited to see the special forces i think these guys are gonna surprise a lot of the people watching this so let's check it out okay getting a good look at the kid already Pretty nice stuff. And this seems pretty modern too, as far as like the the footage itself. Okay, so let's check out the gear a little more. We have EOTEX, we have M4s. I like the maritime style bump hel helmets they have here. Looks like they have some flashbangs here, which is kind of cool. And got tourniquet, okay. So the kit's gonna look pretty similar to the US military, I think, because I'm sure they get a lot of training from US Special Forces. And I don't think they're too old of a of a like a, a unit. So I don't know if they've had so much experience in developing their own SOPs or trying to change up their kits. So we're probably gonna see a lot of similarities with US Special Forces. But I wanna see this maritime stuff. Okay, so pretty small, what is it, like a ferry or something? Okay, yeah, I forgot Romania does get a decent amount of snow. It wasn't honestly as much as I thought it was going to be though, for Eastern Europe. Okay, nice, okay. They got the Peltors, the, the Elkin optics. Yeah, it looks very, very similar to US soft stuff. Even the, the chem lights and stuff. Okay, that door is pretty flimsy. So again, some CQB focused stuff. Looks like they're, they have training rounds. Okay. Now, when I was in Romania, I gotta say, we didn't have the best facilities. We weren't training with Romanian Special Forces. I think it was just, again, the Marines and maybe some other units. So it wasn't necessarily the best facilities, but it seemed like these guys have some pretty good stuff as far as like their shoot house. Because I remember one time, I think this was in Romania, it could have been in Bulgaria, but there was literally a bloated dead dog on like the first floor of this house that we were supposed to be doing training in. And there's like, well, I guess we're not training here. And at the same time, the house was also like at an angle because the foundations were completely like rotted to hell because this was like a pre-Soviet or this was like a Soviet Union era building and whatnot. It was pretty sketch. Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's even got the Romanian flag in his kit. Nice. Why do they have his nods down? Okay, so I see some Miles gear, so it looks like they're going to be doing some force on force. Okay. <laughs> that dude looks pretty cold. Nice. Yeah, okay, here we go. I wish the camera dude had some some night vision as well though. Oh nice the snow camo. I do like seeing all the, the snow aspect of everything. Yeah, 
Yeah, there you go. That looks like a lot of fun, actually. I'm not a huge fan of the cold or the snow, but that looks like some good stuff. You have like the one guy with snow camo, though. <laughs> Yep, some massive rucksacks. I wonder what kind of unit those guys are. I'm sure there's probably like different specialties in the Romanian Special Forces. Now, it makes sense why the gear looks pretty standard with a lot of other Western Special Forces. Now, I don't think Romanian Special Forces have been around for too long, so they might not have like as much experience, like first-hand experience, changing up their gear, changing up their tactics just based off of where they are geographically speaking or, you know, who their enemy is. So I think just based off of them training with the U.S., their kit is going to look very similar. I mean, they had like same plate carrier belt set up. They had the M4 with the EOTAC. So that's pretty standard, like, you know, CQB loadout. It makes a lot of sense why we're seeing those similarities, I guess. Now, I would have liked to see a little bit more about their specialties in their special forces as far as like, I mean, they're on the Black Sea, so they probably have a maritime unit. Uh, not necessarily for like pirates and whatnot, but maybe more for just like having boarding parties or like VBSS. I'm not sure how strong the Romanian Navy is, to be honest. And as a result, that'll probably determine how their Marine Corps is. But again, I do remember training with them and they were pretty solid. They were pretty well disciplined. It seemed like they really cared about what they were doing. And yeah, I, that can't be said for a lot of the other militaries that I've seen around in that area. So I got to say they were a little bit surprising as far as like how disciplined they were and what they were doing. So it was pretty good to see. I liked, I liked working with them a lot. So I'd like to see a little bit more about the Romanian military. So if you guys have any recommendations, please put them down below, especially for like any of the maritime stuff, maybe the Marines or anything like that. Maybe even like paratroopers. That'd be kind of cool to see. And I know I'm a little bit lower effort since I'm not wearing a costume for the, the Halloween month, but these short reaction videos are generally going to be a little bit more chill. So that's why I'm not wearing the full gambit today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video regardless. If you did, you can hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But I do appreciate you guys coming over here anyway. But that is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one.